Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building this mini helicopter with Alex floating by to go to the church. Okay, we also have the Spanish disappointment here. Goodbye. Uh, so before we get into this video, here's a list of people who subscribed to my last video. If you subscribe to this video, in the next one, you will be featured. So let's have a bit of an overview. It's a helicopter. Look at the amazing thingamajigs. They're angled. They're all angled. The back thing's angled. Got a propeller. It's all angled. Bring it up. No! Mind the helicopter! Okay. I'm mentally unstable. Well, actually, you said you're insane. Okay. So, starting helicopter rotors. Three, two, one, we take off like this. So very nice. You can turn it, so if you want to go to the... Uh, let's go... Where should we go? Let's go to the left. There we go. Whoa. Let's go to the Ah! Debris in the sky! Let's go to the right. Aha! Now, let's go fully. So now we're in the air, we can do stuff like turning. Very nice. It can turn like this, it can turn in lots of other ways. So this, it can turn. Very good. It's, uh, it's better at turning when it's, um, <coughs> when it's static. So let's do a bit of a speed test. So we turn around here. If we keep going this way. And... It's, it goes at about 140. 100, actually, no, about 130. Okay. So now that's the overview. It's time to do the actual tutorial bit. So first, what you do, you get some trails. Put them to toggle. I'm just going to count this out a bit. Uh, let's head over here for this bit. Place one there. Hey, place one there. So, wait, is that uh, right? Nope, it's side by side like this. So place it side by side. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and it's six long in each direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same with the others. Okay. Uh, so now this next bit is a bit of camera locking. So one, two, three. So go three forwards. And then one up. That's all you need for this top bit. And then for this front, for onwards from that, you go get a half wedge. Uh, make it so it's pointed like this. You go one, two, three. So one, two, three. Like that. And it goes one, two, three. Three high. So it goes one, two, three. And then you delete all these and place them like that. Okay? And you make them red or whatever color you want, just to remind you. There. Uh, then you get a camera. So this is a bit important. You have to make sure that the camera is facing backwards and is and has the red dot in the top right hand side. Uh, if you have to place them like this above them, and if you you have to click on them with the select an item, uh, and then point it at its, uh, at this block, and you should see because these are uh, trails, you should see these pop out. Or these uh, things here. They also change color. So also the color codes for this is 40, 40, 40. So you, all you to do that, you just click 40, 40, 40. There we go. And you just color the all these trails in. What I sometimes like to do uh, is you can change all these colors, by the way. Uh, what I sometimes like to do is to get a different color. I get like a hundred. And if you do this onto the top bits, you have to uh, do it like that. Just do this. So, like this. Nope, that's wrong. Looks like more's going on with it color wise. So, oh, that's the wrong color there. There we go. Okay, that's the first camera locking bit. So, now what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of more camera locking. Uh, so these so you get one that's facing a uh, trail facing like that and uh, like that like that and like that so there's kind of there's one on each side like that if you've done the measurements right or actually no I've messed up row there should be one gap at the front and then two at the back uh, I was also going to paint these red like that tada and then you get a camera is it uh, yeah. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated. 
So you want to make it face, make sure the camera is facing up. And then the red dot is on the left, or actually on the right hand side, it's facing, it's going that way, it's going to the forwards of the plot. So th those two, so they're pointing up and the red dot's g it's in the top left kind of thing, where it is now. And then you do the same, but you, on the other side, but you just rotate it. There, so now they're going, this side they're going backwards. The reason why I'm putting so much emphasis on this, because if, it, it, it thing is it matters uh, which way the camera is orientated or otherwise it sometimes messes up. So then they get a trail, they can go in two up on both sides. Oh, spit up. You can also color these in. This, this, uh, this, 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 okay, and like that. And then you get select a camera and you put it to its red bar. And you should see it should look like that. The uh, trail should look like this. And you do that to the rest of them, like that. You have to close it every time as well. Okay, so then you got this kind of like pyramid thing. You should see you should be able to collide with it as well. So now you get, uh, what should we do next? Let's do this back, back portion, okay? You just get a normal camera, this one, this one won't be camera locked. Just, you can make it face whatever way you want. And then you get a trail, or you go to signs, and you go to text, and you make it go like that. So make sure configure to edit is flush with this bit, otherwise it won't make a stick. And then you can just put that, uh, Zero and whatever you want, so just so it disappears, but it's still making a contact. Uh, then you just get a trail. Like this this trail will be important later because it will also be locked to for the final locking. Uh, I'm gonna use for this color. I'm gonna use a hundred zero one hundred twenty for just a blue. You can change whatever you want. Uh, and then you get piston. This is this piston here. It doesn't matter what um it doesn't matter what the uh, settings are, as long as it's a piston. Uh. Uh, where's piston? So we go. Uh, as long as it's a piston, it just doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's just so that the these actually properly work. I'll also make that blue. Uh, what's this? It's a motor. It's a bit of motor locking. So you get a motor here. We lock it. Place it like that. You get a delta wing. Like that. Like that. You get wing panels. Ta da And I'm also gonna use two hundred or one eighty uh yeah one eighty for the white for this. Once again you can change whatever colours you want. Okay, let's move further on from this bit. Get a bit more forwards. Uh, and then you get your main pilot seat. You place it in front of this delta wedge, so it should be in in between. Also colour that blue. Uh yep. Yep, yep. Uh motors, lock them both, and it should be like that, just a normal tower, and then there's just another bit on the top, like that. Marvellous! To get a half wedge, you place it like this. Oh, no, that's wrong, back here. So you kind of place it like this, so you can click onto the uh, seat and there's a port. So you got this kind of like bit here, and you color that in whatever you want. But I usually change this back one to glass, uh, and then there is okay. And you just make kind of like a shell. Let's do this, this, this. It's just half blocks. Get a half wedge up. Nope, uh, halfway up. Make it like that. This will all be glass. Sort of glass. I'm going to change it to pure black. So you can kind of tell. There we go. And then this top bit, it's front bit the front is also half wedges. Uh, okay, glass. And all black. Okay. Uh, you can also get one final wedge here. Oh, actually, no, there's uh, two back here, I remember. This is like this. So you kind of create this uh, ball kind of shape made out of glass. 
Uh, that. Very nice. Uh, get helium. Get a helium block. You place it there. And you also get a uh, half wedge down. Put this there. There. You get a half wedge up. And you place it. So it's like that. There, there, there. There. And like that. Okay. And so then after that, you get a half wedge up. Place it behind that, making it facing down like that. And you also get just a half wedge down. So it's like this, 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 and this. Like that. These blue. I'm about to make this one fabric just to spice it up a little bit. Uh, this is also 90, 90, 90, I think. 100. Okay. Make this the normal white color. <coughs> okay. So we are actually almost done with this. There's not too much left. So, what we do now, you get a uh, propeller. You set it to E and Q. All the keybinds will be linked in the description. I'll have a big thing, a uh, big chart showing all the keybinds. Place it up like that. Uh, you get a half triangle wedge. This. And that. Let's cut this bit in. Now let's make the propeller. So, uh, if we get a normal motor, we set it to uh, do these keybinds because it's just going to be toggled. This can be whatever you want, so you can do 30. I'm going to do because it's a nice speed. Uh, place this at that. Uh, and you get a trail. Toggle it. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's long. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then you can just layer it on the other side to make it a bit thicker. Like that. Uh, use the same colour as the treads. For the majority, this mm -hmm. let's color all this in. Okay, and then you get a stock color. I think this was. Yeah, so you get the stock orange here, and you paint it like that. Paint this bit also like that on both sides. Okay, and you get this here. And you get a half ball on top like that. Okay, so that's the rotor done. Uh, or the, uh, yeah, the rotor. So and then we get a motor two. We copy this. So D A. Speed 50, max torque 1000, the max angle is just 35. And yeah. And it's at, it's on it's in servo mode. Did I copy that? Nope. So I need to copy and paste. And then do te it's text one times two. Let's make sure it's gonna have a little thing here so there we go. So make sure it's like this. Uh, use equal signs. Like that. And then we get a propeller. Uh, da, 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 da. And you set it to shift and c left control. Put it there. This bit here uh, is trails. So put a trail on either side of the motor. And then extend these back bits. Like that. Uh, and then push these back a bit as well. There. So you kind of got this 3x1. Uh, Let's make this a uh, white colour. <laughs> this bit as well. 
Okay. And then you get a uh, trail. Well, not a trail, I mean, um, text. One times two. Place it there. Uh. Do this. Yeah. Okay. So you place it there and you get a text one times three. Put it underneath it. It's about. Put it there. So it, it makes contact here. And you just put these two naught. Like that. And then you get a motor. What to do? Do y, uh, H and Y. Uh, power, toggle, and speed a little bit higher. I use like 26, 25, normal, like that. Okay. Uh, we color this back bit like that. Like that. Just color, color, color. And we get a trail. There. 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 And like that. Okay. Hello. And then this is the final bit, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so what you do, you get... Is it a thing? Yeah, it is. So you get control surface, 1 times 1. Make it face like that, or uh, set it so set controls are magically off. So it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, and then you get L, turn the tr uh, things off. Okay... That goes like oh, okay. So that goes above. This one also. This one goes underneath, kind of like that. So it creates kind of this wiggle, like that. Then you get a camera. Make it face. Uh, actually, you need to make it so. Uh, top left. That's wrong. Like that. So it's top right. Uh, and then you. Uh, configure it and you set it for this trail here. Click that. So then you can see it can make this angle here. Uh, you also get a just normal wing panel. There. Color all of this in. Okay. You can color this bit in blue. Uh, that. You extend it out one more with the trails. This. Okay, this is just a and relevant. I think that is it. Actually, no. Uh, you get a wing panel, put it right there. Also, color it in. Okay, also, by the way, if the, um, if the uh, cameras don't actually, like, appear, or, like, the angles that the cameras make, all you do is just Click it and then just reassign it to part. So same with this bit. So you see that the front bit isn't loading in. So what you do, you just click this and then just reconfigure it. Same with this back bit, just reconfigure to there. And then, okay, that looks like it's all working. Oh yeah, then also one other thing that I forgot is just the wing panel here. You fill that gap there. Also make that blue. And then, this should be done. All these red bits should flake off. You start the propeller with uh, Y, hold E, and it should take off. There we go. Get a bit more, add a bit more shift, and then you're off. There we go. And now you have your mini helicopter, which you can just fly around in. So yeah, that's pretty much this for that for the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, that was pretty much this for this video. So, that was pretty much this for this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye, guys.